Hi Collective, welcome to Self-Discovery Support. Thank you for joining me. This reading offers a window into your story. My main goal is to transmit the information to help empower you. We'll start with looking at your, well we're going to look at the soulmate journey reading today. So we'll look at these oracle cards and then we'll do a little bit of tarot um, to clarify and then We'll see where that goes. This is a short reading. Okay, so I was um, doing the shorts. I was rec recording the shorts for the channel and I did the soulmate journey, um, the short that I normally do for that. And these, I don't know, these energies came out and I just, it struck me and I thought I would love to know more. I had to record that short so many times because um the message wanted to keep being longer and longer so i thought okay let me just record a soulmate journey reading i haven't done those for a while and i was doing them maybe in the summer earlier in the year so yeah let's look at that so this is i, I pulled this oracle card um from the spirit animal oracle for the energy of the masculine and the energy of the feminine right now so the interesting thing to know is that right now the feminine is in the badger spirit which is you know you can see here be fearless and bold the badger is really tenacious right it's one of the most um, fearless creatures the honey badger especially like it's it's just gonna achieve what it wants and it's not going to take um crap from anyone right it will go up against any enemy so it's feeling like um the feminine energy could be a little bit um defensive in an attempt to draw boundaries to make it known that um you're not you're not going to stand for any poor treatment any disrespect anything like that um but this is also the energy in so that's kind of like a one side of it i don't want to say this is a good or bad side but this is one side the other side is that this means that this is almost like an empowerment where this um feminine energy in a soulmate journey is stepping up to get her goals done get whatever it is that's needed and i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say her it's um whatever you connect the feminine feminine energy to um it can it can switch genders so whatever it is um that suits for your particular connection but i'll just say the feminine energy so the badger spirit is just someone who is super charged ready to defend their territory territory ready to make you know um who they are and but this is also someone that protects their space protects also their comfort and they don't want their peace disturbed as well so that to me seemed really stand out to with the um the lion spirit there is a kind of very bold energy between these two here right there's it can almost be um conflict producing this energy for the masculine energy is very prideful right lions are pretty prideful um they kind of think they deserve whatever it is they get um or they should get but there's also something really regal about this um spirit this is someone who is understanding of um, the masculine energy even though on the flip side sometimes that can be a little bit ego um, driven but we're gonna look at the tarot to tell us more about um, where exactly we are on the um, what I would call the meter for these energies all right All right, so for the um for the the badger spirit, what's happening now for them in this journey? If you relate to um the badger spirit side, I think it's for you to say which side you connect to most. 
and take the energy from that. All right, so two of wands. Yeah, this is someone who is looking outward, looking at possibilities, ready to grow and expand, putting some plans in place as well. Um, look at that. This um, this is someone who is ending anything that was a burden. They don't want that in their life anymore. Um, closing out things. This is going to bring. I think what the the recognition here is that there's things that have been difficult that this bajo has um, borne for a long time, and it I think it's brought some kind of level of burden, destruction, reckoning for this feminine energy because I think you can't carry all of this for so long um, without recognizing that endings need to happen things need to be let go there's things you have to kind of break free from three of pentacles so there could be more of a um there could be some kind of group team collaboration that this is signaling some kind of ending with maybe a family situation as well um or maybe even just a willingness to be cooperative the feminine energy can be very cooperative um, that is, you know, one of the the key traits. But I think maybe this is like this is a burden to me. This is this is something that is I would just say de decreasing and diminishing my energy, and I maybe need to assess how that works. All right, so let's look at the um, the masculine energy here. Okay, that's a very different energy page of cups so there is a playfulness there's some kind of idea or excitement some burgeoning kind of emotional energy almost like a heart opening type of thing there is a kind of um when i say playfulness can be childlike quality as well the lion spirit can be playful can be um indulgent in that way but there is seemingly let's look at this six of cups ten of cups the world there's seemingly some kind of recognition about um either someone that they know so this could be this feminine energy here or something else someone else ten of cups the happiness that this person would bring and seeing this as like a success I think that this person, this masculine energy is in the space now to consider things that they probably didn't consider before. Um, yeah, there's like a soulmate energy. Like, I know the soulmate energy. I know I'm feeling maybe some kind of excitement about it or I, f I have an inkling of an idea of where I want to go, what I want to do. Success on their mind that's interesting it's almost like they're at different cycles of time this person is ready to you know this person is protective i don't think this means that they are not open to it it just means that they are not going to be open to it in the same way this has to recalibrate itself and for some of you who rec um, relate to the feminine energy you may not be open to it at all um, and for the masculine there is a kind of very nostalgic energy very uh, thinking about like the happiness and the things that they want to have happen in their life thinking about a queen of cups thinking about this feminine energy um, almost feeling quite loving yeah, it's it's more like the positive aspects of the lion, which is, you know, very warm. All right, and uh, I want to know about this three of pentacles. Okay, yeah, uh, um, the feminine energy is not certain about whether any kind of collaboration between these two could work again. Just, 
it, it like it would need to be clarified figured out queen of pentacles she is about her um business her money and feeling uh, very secure in herself stable um yeah all right so what's the next best path for these two let's do separately for the masculine let's get the next um actually let's not do that let's yeah what's the next um what's the next best path for our masculine here four of wands okay the sun okay so maintain this is a very um this is similar energy leo lion energy um maintain optimism about the type of um, way you want this connection to go you have to prepare for that for a wands there is a possibility for success if you line up everything people always talk about this for a wands as just plain celebration but there is a lot of preparation that goes into having that success happen having that homecoming happen so there you go um masculine energy and for the feminine the tower okay so feminine and we've got the lovers so two major arcana you're gonna be have to be prepared to make some major changes um this particular tower card does always remind me of the three of swords which is the shock that any kind of hurt or heartbreak that happened here brought is going to need to be, um, you're going to have to prepare to move past, to almost not get fixed in that um, if you do want to have this opportunity come again. If you do recognize this person as um, this soulmate energy for you, then um some changes are gonna come in that's something you might need to prepare yourself for all right so let's get the energy of the connection now what's needed most what's needed most here strength okay so also again um strength in the tarot is the leo um card we have like three signifiers of leo we also had like earth sign energy water sign energy cancer pisces scorpio and um virgo taurus capricorn um, in this reading yeah it's like both people are gonna need to be um put their best foot forward find the courage within to move to what they want this is moving forward creating what you want also like feeling quite grounded um yeah understanding that you can weather this you can be resilient you can even recover from past hurts misunderstandings miscommunications breakups heartbreaks whatever it is there's a possibility here all right guys so this is your little reading um take care i hope this finds you well and um all the best do give a like comment subscribe if you enjoyed this